Due to severe disruption in the country, LEGO is terminating its 90 Moscow-based staff and closing its operations there permanently. LEGO has cancelled its franchise agreement with Inventive Retail Group, which managed 81 locations for LEGO. Our company will continue to function as an expert in the toy design and development field, an Inventive Retail Group representative told CNBC. To what level is the war in Russia affecting its people? To a level where even toy stores are being shut down. Watch the rest of the video to find out why LEGO is shutting down 81 of its factories across Russia. The world's largest toy maker said it was ending the employment of most of its staff in Moscow and terminating a partnership with Inventive Retail Group, the company that runs stores on its behalf in the country. This undoubtedly follows the extensive sanctions that the West has placed on Moscow as a result of Russia's military invasion of Ukraine. The toy maker's supply chain has been severely impacted by these imposed limitations and punishments. LEGO released a statement stating, the LEGO Group paused shipments to Russia in March. Given the continued extensive disruption in the operating environment, we have decided to indefinitely cease commercial operations in Russia. This includes ending employment for most of our Moscow-based team and our partnership with Inventive Retail Group, who owned and operated 81 stores on the brand's behalf. We have provided 70 employees with financial packages to support them as they look for new opportunities. Inventive Retail Group, which also has maintained stores for foreign companies including Nike and Samsung in Russia, announced that the agreement with LEGO has been terminated. LEGO Group has decided to indefinitely cease commercial operations in Russia given the continued extensive disruption in the operating environment, a LEGO spokesperson said. World of Cubes is one of the biggest authorized networks in Russia for the sale of LEGO designers. It issued the announcement that detailed the manner in which the network is planning to close some of its outlets throughout the nation. Evidently, this is because LEGO kit deliveries have been suspended since the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The corporation has run all of its activities on stocks since this point. The local reseller informed its customers of the suspension in a formal email that concerned authorities were able to examine. In the email, it was explained how LEGO deliveries from Russia had been suspended in the interim and that business would continue using only local suppliers. Additionally, they mentioned how the events that led to this problem had caused them to temporarily freeze the operation of several of their locations across the nation. However, the company expects to reopen most of them in the future. The West's sanctions against Moscow have caused a number of different enterprises to stop operating there. Due to these limitations, foreign corporations have either chosen to permanently close down their operations in the nation or to only temporarily seize them until they find a replacement. The LEGO Group joins the growing list of well-known companies leaving Russia. These include breweries like Carlsberg and Hanneken ever since the start of the military attack in Ukraine, along with Spanish retailer Zara and its rivals H&M. Popular brands like McDonald's, IKEA, Coca-Cola and Starbucks have all seized business, among many more. Nike also severed connections with the Inventive Retail Group, the sportswear company which had 37 Nike-branded stores in Russia, informed the franchise that it had decided not to extend its contracts. In addition, the corporation shut down over a hundred more independent stores in Russia, where Nike had 116 sites. Nike has made the decision to leave the Russian marketplace, the company said in a statement to Reuters. Our priority is to ensure we are fully supporting our employees while we responsibly scale down our operations over the coming months. Some businesses had to dissolve intricate alliances with outside businesses in order to sell their products through franchises in Russia. McDonald's made the announcement that it will close the locations in Russia that were subsequently bought by a local business. After being de-arched, the eateries adopted the name Tasty and That's All, while the new owners of Starbucks Corp coffee shops opted for Stars Coffee. The Commerçant Daily reported that Dmitry Azarov, previously the majority owner of UK cosmetics retailer Lush's Russian stores, had launched an other company, List, and started applying for trademarks under the Relish brand for goods including cosmetics, soaps and lotions. Renault, a car manufacturer, also sold its domestic operations. A Russian science institute will purchase the French company's 68% holding in automaker Avto Vaz, while Moscow will acquire its shares in Renault Russia according to the French company. Russia was the fifth largest European retail market globally last year, valued at 337.2 billion pounds. So, some firms have been reluctant to burn bridges. While many of the businesses have voiced opposition to Russia's actions in Ukraine and others have pointed to severe supply chain disruption, LEGO has made the decision not to express its opinion about Russia's actions directly 
in contrast to a number of other businesses. Our thoughts are with all the children and families suffering as a result of the war in Ukraine, Lego stated. In the beginning of the war, Lego advised its employees in Russia not to participate in any anti-war demonstrations or public debates about the conflict in Ukraine, after police detained thousands of people at such demonstrations around the country. The advice was offered to guarantee the security of its employees, but it also emphasizes the difficulty faced by foreign businesses with personnel in Russia as Western and Moscow tensions rise. The 80 Russian employees of LEGO were advised to avoid discussing sensitive topics on the Russia, Ukraine and linked matters in public and on social networks or the internet generally in an email issued on Monday and obtained by Reuters. It also said, do not engage, whether intentionally or unintentionally, into any public protest or even peaceful demonstrations. A few years ago, the Danish company faced outrage after it came to light that it had declined to fulfill the Chinese artist's IYY's mass order of plastic bricks. I had planned a similar display in Australia after using LEGO to make images of exiled or imprisoned dissidents in the US, including Nelson Mandela. He said, however, that LEGO had informed the Melbourne Museum that it could not use its bricks for artwork that contained any political, religious, racist, vulgar or defamatory sentiments. The decision was widely condemned and LEGO ended up changing its policy. The Russian government has responded to sanctions by erasing custom charges on a variety of products and allowing grey market sales commonly referred to as parallel imports, in addition to providing cheap finance and subsidies for failing sectors. LEGO got replaced in Russia by a chain of toy stores dubbed World of Cubes after the toy maker joined the list of international companies that left the nation due to its invasion of Ukraine. According to Inventive Retail Group, 65 World of Cube stores will be opened in 20 Russian cities, appearing in place of approved LEGO shops, and will sell LEGO among other things, according to Reuters. On the World of Cubes website, a variety of LEGO products, including those from the well-known Harry Potter and Star Wars lines, were listed as being in stock. LEGO told Insider in a statement that it has clamped down on reselling outside of Russia. We have taken steps to increase visibility and control over any potential resale activity by our existing customers outside of Russia, including adding additional clauses to retailers' contracts. Do you know what a panelka is? Panelkas, multi-apartment blocks made of prefabricated reinforced concrete slabs, rose to prominence during the Soviet era and served as a type of linchpin uniting the country. No matter where you went, whether to the Urals, Moscow or Khabarovsk, you would find the same buildings. And practically, the entire nation still resides in panel homes. Artem Bezaev, an artist from St. Petersburg who previously designed the Lego Baba Yaga set and the Lego set based on Russian fairy tale characters, proposed a product idea centered on a Russian multi-story apartment building, the most popular type of housing in Russia. Such a concrete panel apartment building in Russia is where the set's protagonists reside. It has the traditional metal door with an intercom, the customary stairs, and the typical waste chute. The apartment's interiors also have characteristic Russian elements like cast iron radiators and a huge carpet hanging on the wall. Artem Bezaev's design was commissioned by Delivery Club, a popular food delivery service in Russia. Hence, it has so many delivery workers. Together with Artem, we have come up with a typical Russian concept featuring delivery workers working for different companies. But in reality, the miniature delivery workers can be added to any set mimicking urban life, says Delivery Club. The company notes that during the epidemic, delivery drivers rose to the role of true city heroes, and their appearance in a LEGO set increases the social standing of the profession. In addition, the LEGO delivery staff even dons masks. They help out an elderly couple who find it difficult to carry their shopping bags from the supermarket, as well as a young man with a broken leg who is stuck at home playing computer games. I'm sure you want to check out this LEGO set, but do you think people of Russia will be satisfied with World of Cubes instead of LEGO? Let us know in the comments.